You want a chance at all the gift cards down below? Well, all you gotta do is hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, leave a comment down below, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, before we get into the video, I wanna do a quick shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, Thunder. I've been watching him since Black Ops 1 and I really appreciate him for uploading me onto TSG. Thank you for all the support you give to the small YouTubers, it's truly inspiring. So yeah guys, let's get into the gameplay. Hello everyone, it's your boy Dramatic and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 3 gameplay. We're playing some free for all, I'm rocking the KN44, now I unlocked this camo it's like a molten lava camo i think it was for the headshot challenge uh it, i'm not sure if that's what it was for but it looks pretty sick on the km44 so i'm rocking that and i have a couple deaths in the beginning i have six deaths but i end up winning the match so for today's topic i would like to talk about e3 and basically what i i want to see kind of like a wish list it feels like christmas all over again because when i'm a gamer or when you're a gamer and e3 rolls around oh my gosh bro it's crazy because there's so much hype there's so many games to watch i, I wish i could play them to be honest but okay ea's press conference is yesterday and it looked pretty sick so there was a game called a way out and it's a prison break game where you and a friend have to break out of prison and I'm not quite sure the whole story, like the aspect, but like when you're in a cutscene, the other player will be like not in a cutscene. It's hard to explain. So one person will be in a cutscene and the other person will be trying to like do an objective. And it kind of switches between narratives between the two characters. And it's one of those games where you, you really want to have a friend to play it with. You can play it online, but they said you want to have someone next to you on your couch. So I'm looking forward to this game. I might play it with my brother or my dad, or I might get one of my friends online to play it, but it looks pretty sick. And we also saw a look at the new Battlefront 2 game. Now Battlefront 1, it did not do too well. It died within the first like six months of the game being out. There's not enough content, not enough customization. There was no skill gap. It was just ass. And I'm just gonna be straightforward with you guys. It was ass. The game was terrible. I mean, I loved it. I love Star Wars. I've seen every movie. I've read the comic books. I've read the books. I've watched the TV shows, like the cartoons. I love Star Wars. But Battlefront, Battlefront One, not Two. Battlefront One. It didn't really live up to the expectations and all the hype. And I mean, that's common nowadays for nothing to live up to its hype. But I mean, Battlefront One. It was not that good. And I'm glad to see that EA and DICE, they finally looked into what the community wanted and they put a lot of content. It looks really fun. They had like, I think it was 25v25 match, 23v23, I don't know, it was around there. But the match looked really fun. Heroes are easy to come across, like you can get heroes by stacking up points. So you can either play the objective, get kills, or be the top, basically be the top on your team and you unlock these points that you can spend on heroes equipment um vehicles and all that good shit so it looks really tight oh right here i'm just going in with the kn44 holy shit boy i'm just wrecking i think i die right here i'm not paying attention I, yeah I, i'm not paying attention i die i'm not rocking very high kill streaks either just because i was trying to get the challenge which is 25 kills with kill streaks and i didn't feel like going for a high kill streak but back to the topic, so I'm really excited for Call of Duty World War II. Oops, there goes my ad revenue. Just kidding. I don't even get paid for my YouTube videos, so I don't have to worry about that shit. But yeah, I'm excited for World War II. I can't wait to see multiplayer. I've been dying to see multiplayer like the whole time I've been waiting for E3 to even happen. That's one of the really big things I've been dying to see, as well as like Last of Us 2 and shit, and I'll talk about that. In a few seconds but yeah microsoft i'm excited to see state of decay 2 and i also want to see project scorpio now it's really cool to see that both microsoft and sony are still coming out with consoles and keeping everything updated so we'll just have to see what they have to offer and what they'll showcase and also bethesda bethesda is today as well and I'm pretty sure they'll show a Doom sequel. I'm, at least I'm hoping so because Doom was really, it was a really good game even though the multiplayer got stale really fast within like six months, just like Battlefront 1. So I hope they show 
Doom 2. I'm really hoping so. Now, Sony. Sony, PlayStation, whatever you want to call it. I'm super excited to see The Last of Us 2. They're going to be following the role of Ellie this time and her story as she gets older. As well as Days Gone. Now, Days Gone is a new IP by PlayStation created by the developers of Uncharted Golden Abyss, which was on the PS Vita. So, I hope this game is really good because I know that they, it's a small development team and I they're not as good as naughty dog so i'm really hoping that they pull this off because days gone looks really cool but comment what you guys think or what you guys want to see at e3 and i'll read the comments and comment back but i hope you guys enjoyed this live commentary and i will see you in the next one peace